So, hello YouTube and my millions of subscribers. You got to speak it into existence, you know what I'm saying? So, I just I just came <clears throat> with this message. I heard somebody say one line and I just came up with a message. And it's basically, where you see a lack, you are supposed to add abundance in that place. And what I mean by that is, say if you feel like there is a lack of of good music out here and you and it really bothers you but you're like I'm not a musician so you can do one or two things you could either learn to make music like put in the time and the effort to really learn how to make music and have intent to make better music or you could go and search for good music instead of like complaining about, you know, the lack, the lack, the lack. Because the more you speak of there being a lack, the more you live in lack because the, that's because you notice more of the lack. Um, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't the greatest example. Okay, so I'm going to give another one. Okay, so if you see there is a lack of nice people. And you're like, why doesn't anybody talk to people? You know, you sit back and you observe. Say if you're, you know, a college campus and you just notice everybody's walking around campus or, you know, when they walk from class to class, they're on their phones or they're, they have their headphones on and they're just completely detached from the world around them. So you could add abundance of openness, of friendliness, of lovingness of showing someone you're interested in them by just walking up to them and saying how is your day and this may sh lead to other conversations so you add abundance in that area where you see nothing so that is something else so i was just wondering where does lack where does the idea of lack comes from because really there's not a such thing as nothing there's no such thing as nothing like there's no such thing as nothing because even nothing is something you know what i mean like not even trying to go over your head but even like if you look at a black hole and you're like it's nothing but a black hole is something because it's a black hole and it's something in that black hole so even in the places that may look so still and like it's not producing nothing it's producing something because it's producing energy and energy is matter and everything matters so even when you feel like there's not enough of something that is just the universe or you know god telling you where you can add service so if there's not enough kindness in the world you be that kindness if there's enough if, if there's not enough human in the world you make people laugh if there's an if there's not enough compassion in the world you add understanding if there is not enough fruit in the world you plant a garden because there is no such thing as lack the only time i feel like we can truly lack something is when we lack the belief in ourselves because when we lack the belief in ourselves we don't believe that we're capable of producing and being distributors so what can you distribute to the world? Because God put something in you that the world needs. The world needs you. The world needs That's why you're here. That's why you're alive. It's not by chance. It's not because your parents were horny. It is not. <laughs> it is not because, you know, you're a mistake. You, you may not even have never met your parents. But you have met you. You are what really matters. And you give yourself permission to matter. Give yourself permission to be of service. Because I like what the great leader Christ said. That I am a king. But I am not here to be serviced. I am here to service. So are you here to service? Or are, you, or are you here to be served? Because people that are here to be served are just people that's, that are always in need. But people who are here to give service, they're people 
who are the people in charge, right? They're masters. And we all are masters. No one is a slave, but we, we are slaves to purpose, you know? And it's not a, it's not a contradiction, but a, a beautiful paradox. And the thing about abundance, because I've been thinking, I'm not the richest person in the world yet. <laughs> I'm not the richest person in the world, really. And I, and I never grew up with a lot, you know what I'm saying? And, and it never bothered me as a kid because I, I was just always so busy being productive. I never cared about what I couldn't or could not consume because I was so consumed in being an artist, you know what I'm saying? So I always made like mud pies, always wrote music, I wrote stories, or I read stories, or I played school, or I rode my bike into places I shouldn't have been, or I was picking fights with people. No, I'm kidding, but I did get into a lot of fights, you know what I'm saying? Because I just like to be busy. And and I noticed it's not about being busy, but it's about being um, doing stuff that serves you. So you could be busy working a lot of jobs because I've been there before too, working a lot of jobs and just not really nothing is coming out of it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of your energy and a lot of your time that you could have been putting into something that you cared about, like your dream. So dream, dream big, work on your dream, work on you. Because that's how you receive abundance. Because when you start doing you, the world say, oh, we need you because the world needs you. But see, we so caught up in being everything but ourselves. And what good are you if you're everybody else? We already got everybody else, but we don't have a you, right? We don't have... We don't have a raw ass person. We don't have a person that speaks from their heart and not a manuscript. We don't have people who introduces new trends by just being their imperfect selves, right? Because nobody great has come and reminded of something that we already knew. I mean, like, okay, so we have Michael Jackson, of course, you know, he was influenced by James Brown. But he brought something we never seen before. Um, just like Adele, Adele's, Adele doesn't sing like everybody on the radio. She has a deep husky tone. She sings about, you know, heartbreak, but that's her truth and we need her truth. And because of that, she's a multi-billion dollar artist. She's not trying to be out here singing over trap beats, which I think she would be killed. You know, she'd kill that shit. But oh, I was supposed to stop cussing. Okay. Yeah. But she... She will like she could do anything because she has this gift, but she chose to do what's authentic for her. And she doesn't dance or take off her clothes. She sings her songs, and we are so entranced by her rawness and her vulnerability and her transparency. You have a story, you know. If you're over the age of 10, you've lived a decade, and you have wisdom. And it's something that you know that we may not know because we are not here to be enlightened because we come enlightened. Enlightened means inside there is light. It was already like when you were born, you were light. You were a light being. And you were so raw and authentic. Nobody taught you about emotion. Nobody taught you how to think. You are your pure self. And that's why they say kids are mean because kids are very honest because they're not trying to alter their feelings and what they believe to please somebody else. But it's true. Now, sometimes, you know, just, you know, use your adult sense sometimes. Just don't be a jerk. <laughs> but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, like, just to, just to tie that up with abundance, you can only receive more when you give more. You can only have more to do when you are doing more. To get energy, you have to give energy. And even if you're unemployed right now, like I am, um, cause I, just, just, I just needed a break. I just needed a break to find who I am and just to 
like stop working and just I keep finding myself in these cycles where I'm working and then I will get tired of the job and I will just say you know I, I'm leaving even if the job was going good it just it wasn't feeding me spiritually you know I do waitressing and I love waitressing because I love people and I love networking and I love people I just fall in love every day waitressing but I didn't feel fulfilled and I make music when I'm at home and I write and I watch motivational videos and I you know I try to read a little bit I'm gonna get more into it um and I make beats and I put videos on YouTube and I'm getting better at my craft and this is the best time but I've been feeling so a little bit guilty because it's been too good to me you know what I'm saying and the rent due and stuff but you know I will be taken care of because I'm abundant and yeah so it's like when you do more, when you when you do more, you get more to do, and you get more to do. You get you do things that interest you because we are here to have fun, and to love, and to share, and to experience all these emotions. To tell the next person that may be experiencing them to be their light because, like I said, we are lights and we were born in light. And light is information, and a light is information. Like the stars are light, you know. The stars hold information. The sun. You know, the sun shines light. When the light is here, we see more. So it's like, what are you going to allow people to see? They see. You know what I'm saying? What have you seen? Tell us. Tell us. And this is to myself as well. So I just wanted to share that, like, abundance. Abundance. Let's look at what abundance is. Abundance of love comes from doing abundance of things. Abundance means a very large quantity of something. What do you want? Do you want an abundance of love? I do. I want abundance of money. Me, I do. And not just to be greedy, but, you know, it keeps down stress. Do you want an abundance of good food? Yes, I want abundance of good food. Do you want an abundance of positive thoughts? Yes. 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 Yeah. But seriously, we all we are abundance, and we realize that that we are worthy, and that we have so much to offer to the world, and that our past does not determine our our future. You know, it's just a roadmap to what we should or should not do again. You know, it's just, it showed us where we were weak at and where we were strong at because truly today will be the past. And the past is not always this bad thing, right? Because some good things happen in the past, but we look at the past as a negative thing. Like, don't look back. But sometimes you got to you gotta look back and see, like, because you don't want to make mess up again because those who don't know their past are bound to repeat it. I may be rare with this video, but I just hope you get something out of it. And that's my message for today. Thank you. Abundance.